Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Gould, Acting Medical Officer of Health, New York Region. Vaccination continues to be our best protection against COVID-19, as it not only reduces the risk of infection, but also reduces the risk of severe illness, hospitalization, and death. Vaccination also continues to be our best path out of this pandemic. With more than 86% of New York Region residents aged 12 and older having received a first dose and nearly 83% having received both doses, we continue to make progress in protecting ourselves and those around us. For eligible individuals who have yet to receive a COVID-19 vaccine, I encourage you to make an appointment or walk in to one of the many pop-up or vaccine clinics in our communities as soon as possible. A weekly schedule of pop-up and vaccine clinic locations and hours is available at york.ca forward slash COVID-19 vaccine. While vaccinations remain at the forefront of the fight against COVID-19, we must not discount the importance of the other effective tools to reduce transmission and help keep the number of cases of COVID-19 in our community as low as possible. In addition to practicing public health measures like physical distancing, masking and washing your hands frequently, screening remains an important daily step, not just for students and children attending in-person learning and childcare, but also for all residents. Everyone, including students, children and residents, whether vaccinated or unvaccinated, should assess their health daily and stay home if you feel unwell. If you are experiencing any symptoms of COVID-19, even if mild, don't delay in making an appointment at an assessment center to get tested. The province has announced targeted COVID-19 rapid antigen screening will be available for students through participating public health units where the risk of transmission is high. York Region Public Health continues to review local data and the new guidance in collaboration with our school board partners. We will provide more information when details have been finalized. Rapid antigen screening is only to be used for unvaccinated asymptomatic students and children who are not identified as high-risk contacts. It is important to remember rapid antigen screening is not a substitute for PCR testing at an assessment center if someone has any symptoms of COVID-19 or has had a high-risk exposure, including students as part of a dismissed cohort or being identified as a close contact of the case. We all have an important part to play when it comes to protecting ourselves and those around us, especially those who are not yet eligible to receive a vaccine. Thank you for continuing to follow public health guidelines and making the choice to get vaccinated. Stay safe, stay informed, stay vigilant, and please get vaccinated.